okay, you've got excellent taste, I'll give you that, but I can't give you that. Give it back. If you insist. Our son's the dragon warrior. He's got a packed schedule. Judging by the animation and picture quality alone, it seems like Universal Pictures has another bona fide hit on its hands. As fans worldwide already know, Jack Black's trademark energy and comedy chops translate flawlessly to animated feature films. Exterior, misty chasm, night. I like to read all of the uh, stage directions. It gets me in the zone. Isaac, it's a small crowd. It's a small crowd. We're at a small bar. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. Right on. So, uh... That is a term you and Paul made up so that you can sleep until noon. I know you. But before we get into more of these moments, today's trivia question. What is the original name of Poe? Leave your guesses in the comments down below and stick around till the end of the video to find out if your answer was correct. But if you still hear by nightfall, I'm calling the bulls myself. Sleep tight. <laughs> <laughs> inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Pose like a child at heart. And that's my favorite part to play because uh, I've always felt like I'm at my best when I'm having fun and when I'm, you know, joking around like I, like I always did when I was a kid all the way till now. That's always kind of been my, my secret sauce. Uh, anyone remember this little move? Skadoosh, okay? I still got it. I'm gonna go talk to a chameleon about getting my staff back. The chameleon is unlike anyone you've ever faced. She's capable of mimicking any shape. That's right, it is I. Tai Lung! I would describe Jen as a fox. She's a very, uh, she, she's a criminal. Um, she definitely um, spends her life kind of pickpocketing. Uh, she has a, a, a wry sense of humor, so I enjoy that about her. They're practically family. <laughs> Sorry, that's perfect, so, so that's so stupid. I think that's perfect <laughs> Thank you so much. That is awesome! I mean, it's disturbing, but it's awesome. I think the chameleon wants Poe's staff of wisdom because that would give her the power over everything and everyone in the world. She is extremely narcissistic, so I think that it's not enough that she has the power to transform and influence and lead, that I think that she doesn't stop, she will not stop. Skadoosh! 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 You have got to workshop these proverbs. We need to have a meeting about these proverbs because they're wackadoodle. Jen and Poe meet kind of, kind of accidentally, um, where uh, Jen is in the process of stealing, um, and obviously uh, Poe wants to bring justice to that, but but Jen is. Tricky, um, as, as I would assume foxes would be. The chameleon is unlike anyone you've ever faced. She's capable of mimicking any shape. Whoa! Great, awesome. We just need some place to lie low for a while until the heat cools off. And why should I help you? Skadoosh, skadoosh. Poe's got an innocence about him that's uh, kind of fun and ridiculous and embarrassing, and people can relate to that, because everyone's got a little Poe inside of them. See, what we like to do is run it all the way through a couple times, and then break it down, line by line. A little sneak a peek behind the scenes. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Hard pass. Hard pass. Hard pass. Hard pass. Well, one of the things we wanted to do is add even more action than we've already seen in this franchise and also introduce like uh, there's new uh, camera work that hasn't been brought into animation yet. And we really wanted to explore that. Skadoosh! Skadoosh! Last one. Skadoosh! The chameleon wants to become the world's greatest villain by defeating the world's greatest hero. 
I don't know if you've seen many Viola Davis movies, but but like she definitely has this magnetism, charisma, and power to her um, that she brings to the chameleon, and that's that's actually where um, where we bring a lot of fun into her character as well. All right, so how should we do this? Quick and painless, or slow and painful? Home sweet home. Some of the best crooks and criminals in all of Juniper City live here. I love them. <laughs> the chameleon. I wanted to play a villain. I did. I mean, I can only play a villain in my imagination. I try to play a villain at home. It doesn't work. No one believes it. <laughs> so I feel that Playing a villain, especially a no holes bar villain that can transform and to be able to use my voice in that character, um, it just seemed like a perfect marriage. <laughs> wait here, hold, hold, wait here. <laughs> Tough crowd. <laughs> They're practically family. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Okay. We're all huge fans of the Kung Fu Panda franchise, and we realize there's never been a formidable female villain for Poe to go up against. So we started there, and then we thought, uh, we've seen many types of villains, but we haven't seen one that's supernatural yet, and we knew we wanted to bring the supernatural element into it. Since I left my village, I've become a bit of a warrior. Strong. Brave. Oh! Jeez. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <sighs> That makes me proud. That's my son. But he also makes me angry. We've got the best animators in the world. Um, and I was so blown away when I, when I started seeing, you know, short sections of the movie coming together. And, uh, you know, they really don't get enough credit. I get too much credit as uh, the voice of Poe. But those magicians in the art studio uh, making these beautiful backgrounds and, and fight scenes that are really hypnotic. Skablam! <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. Uh, I think you meant skadoosh. Because deep down beneath that iron-scaled exterior is a good-hearted soul who still thinks of me as one of the family. It is so fun to be in the booth with Jack. I, I, I mean, I, I hope that they cut my feed because I'm like laughing sometimes so hard I, I, I can't even do my line right. And he's such a brilliant performer. He's so he obviously so good at playing Poe. It's it's so natural. Um, so just to see that in in person, I think is it was like really cool. Oh no, he's got a little walking stick. What are you gonna do? Take a stroll on me to death? <sighs> This stick is not for strolling. It's the staff of wisdom. <laughs> so, uh, if you don't have anything, I'm gonna move on. Staff. These are all uh, pretty similar, but can we, can we just try one take where, where like you're really? I mean, Poe himself doesn't necessarily look like you know uh, a ninja warrior <laughs> per se, and um, and so it 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 allows us that spark that imagination of what we can literally become, and especially as a child. Because, um, because if you so much as lay one of, one of those claws on me, you're gonna have to answer to. Yes, I've got it. The Tai Lung nerve strike, the power, the precision, the skill. Introduce them, Poe. Do your fists. And as far as the answer to our trivia question, the original name of Poe is Lotus. He is the adopted son of Mr. Ping and the biological son of Li Shan and Li's wife, as well as one of Master Shifu's students at the Jade Palace. The Dragon Warrior. Warrior, 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 warrior. <clears throat> Slow and painful. Slow and painful. All right, all right, you little scamps. Slow and painful it is. But we wanted to turn this around to you guys. What are your thoughts on all of this and what are you expecting from this movie? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on for more videos just like this. That's it for today, though. Well, see you all next time with a brand new video. <laughs> I like how it ends with a question. <laughs> it doesn't end with a question. It literally does. <laughs>
violence, 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 violence. <laughs> Thank you. Fabulous. Thank you so much. Thank you.